what is up you guys and welcome back to another video so in today's video i am giving you a weekend homemaking video so this saturday and sunday we went ahead and we took it easy um we did not get to church because my mother-in-law is not doing really well um i'm not going to say but so much because it's a lot to handle and some of it is a bit private so yeah those of you that know the word of prayer please continue to keep my mother-in-law in your prayer um yeah so in this video i am pretty much just tackling some much needed laundry you're not going to see all of the laundry being put in this video because it would have been a bit long and um you're also going to see me straighten up my room a little bit you're going to see my daughter help me she's going to do the dishes i am also going to cook breakfast and while cooking breakfast i am going to be doing my dinner prep for us to eat and i also want to tackle my closet but I still, I believe, have to wait for a lot of stuff, my hangers and some of the other items. So yeah, I really have to wait for a lot of that my shelves and different things like that and then I think I'm gonna put that in a separate video and do a closet clean out and organization with me but right now I am giving my younger two my toddlers my three-year-old and my one-year-old a bath and once I give them a bath then they will be ready to tackle their day um, let them run a little crazy and then of course get ready for nap time um, it is hard for me sometimes to do one at a time, but I'm doing them like my grandparents did me. When we were younger, they put us in the tub together to kill two birds with one stone. So I went ahead and I bathed them all together. Although one is a boy and one is a girl, they really don't understand because they are so young. And once my son hits four years old, of course, I will be stopping it. So um, that is why I continue to bathe them two together. So I'm just putting their clothes on. They like to play, they like to fight, they like to go all around. And my three-year-old, he is so full of life. So now I am doing breakfast and I am prepping my dinner. For dinner, we are having Korean style neck bones along with some white rice some collard greens out of the can your girl is not going to be doing them fresh today because i am a little exhausted and then we are going to have some cornbread with it for breakfast i am making them some bacon some eggs and some pancakes so yeah i just want to come on and encourage someone because i know sometimes we may look at a lot of filters and a lot of aesthetics when it comes to content creators or homemakers or influencers um, just people in general who put their lives out on the media and some of them may look the same some of them may not but a lot of the aesthetics and people trying to make their home look like everybody else's is a bit not realistic and what you have here with me is very realistic I am not ashamed of my home I am not ashamed of the items that I have in my home because this is what we like we're very minimalistic yet I like a lot of old-fashioned modern farmhouse type items so you will not see a lot of updated things I like old-school stuff and as long as the items are working in good condition I am okay with it I'm very vintage style um, also as you would say so I just want to encourage someone to be grateful and to be blessed and, and to give God thanks for the bountiful blessings that he has bestowed upon you as far as having a home there are so many people out there who are homeless who don't have a home some people are living in a hotel and I can witness to it I too have lived in a hotel before for years being homeless while married and with children 
and it was a bit tough for us but I can say one thing God provided every step of the way God got us through so even in the midst of you not having certain things don't get jealous and envious of what your neighbor had and just constantly thank God for the things that you do have do what works for you don't feel like you have to fit the status of what this world expects you to look like and what you are supposed to have and just do what is good for you and your family live comfortable live within your means and live what's affordable for you having nice things and materialistic things doesn't make a person happy having god within you and the holy spirit dwelling within you is what keeps you had it ha happy the bible tells us to seek first the kingdom of god and everything else will be added unto us. So we need to stop that daily worrying about what we have, what we don't have. Of course, the Bible tells us that to not worry about the next day because we don't really know what the future holds or what the next day holds for us because the next day pretty much has its own set of circumstances in itself. So just be grateful. Live in the moment. Be content with what you have, who you are. Be grateful that you have a family to live with. Be grateful that you have a roof over your head, clothes on your back, food on your table, and just do what it is that God wants for you to do and not feel like you have to live in the means of what this world is telling you to live. So I hope that this video encourages you. Don't look at me and think I have it all together. We do not. What I have, I am blessed with and what God blesses me with. And of course, if he provides for us to allow us to continue to buy more things than what we want, that's a blessing in itself too. So yeah, um, like I mentioned before, a lot of you, if you are new, welcome. My name is Brittany. Welcome to Walking Into Her, where we do a whole bunch of homemaking Jesus and lifestyle videos okay um, also we just moved uh, for the new people that are here we moved we live on base we are a military family and we just moved from out of a smaller place and now we are into a larger home and we are forever grateful for that my mother-in-law also lives with us she is very sick so we take care of her as well um, some of you guys may notice that I have a smaller bedroom and a smaller bathroom and of course we let you guys know in a previous video that because my mother-in-law is staying with us and she is sick she needs more space than we do as far as room is concerned so my husband and I decided to give up the master bedroom and bathroom so that she can have and we have our own of course along with our children so yeah um, it's only been a few weeks that we've been in our new home so we are still trying to get unpacked we're still waiting for deliveries a lot of deliveries have been delayed we still have other stuff that we need to get We didn't get a chance to go to church because my mother-in-law um, was not having a good day today. So we decided to do virtual church here at home and um, we were blessed by it. Service was really, really good and we really enjoyed it. So yeah, again, I pray that you guys are content. I pray that you thank God for all your many blessings and everything that he has given you and just live for Christ instead of trying to live for this world. There are so many people who are struggling, who don't have, who just don't even know maybe where their next meal is going to come from. So instead of trying to judge others based off of what they look like, what their homes look like, what they have, how about we be an example and try to change the world by going out and helping others who may not have, um, because that's what God commanded us to do. So yeah, um, I'm not going to keep on talking, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure that you share. And until next time, always remember that I love you but God loves you so much more.
Okay, guys. So, I really need to clean my closet, but I need to get more hangers. Y'all, my closet is a mess. Um, I'm thinking about putting that in just a separate video. Um, like a clean my closet with me type thing or whatever. But I just wanted to show y'all. Girl, y'all see this? Half the stuff ain't even on hangers. I took my son's ball and put it there, but I just, me and my husband just got everything just laying around. Some of the stuff is on hangers. Y'all who are not familiar, we just moved, so we still trying to get settled in. We're still getting furniture delivered. We're still getting um, everything pretty much brought back to us. We had we got rid of a lot of stuff, so we're getting a lot of new stuff. A lot of our deliveries have been delayed. Not sure what's going on. Um, Y'all don't pay attention to my hair. It looks like this because I washed it. So. But yeah, so I'm going to separate, do a separate video with that and I will show y'all that.